Greetings from St. Isaac's staff. We're still in confinement. The church is still closed. And this is my 30th daily video. So I'm starting to feel like I'm in a long running TV series or something, maybe like Star Trek. Now I realize that men tend to like sci-fi a lot more than women do, but bear with me for a moment, because almost every generation since the 60s has grown up with some kind of Star Trek, whether it was Spock and Kirk, or whether it was New Generation, or Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Enterprise, all the movies that came out. Even now, today, there are a couple of series running on streaming. So what's the appeal of these characters and these stories? Maybe a universe where everybody gets along, all the different races, where no matter what's the threat, no matter what's the danger, we know there will always be a happy ending and things will be put right finally. Well, here in our parish, we have Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Colombians, Venezuelans, Filipinos, Jamaicans, and lots more besides. I'm the only English person, so maybe that makes me like the solitary Vulcan on the bridge. Live long and prosper. Well, imagine a story where an invisible enemy attacks the world and brings everything to a stop. Everybody lives in fear and the scientists are frantically trying to find a treatment or a cure or at least a vaccine. Wait. That isn't a story, is it? That's the real situation in the world today. But we don't have to live in fear. We might only be halfway through the story and we don't know the ending yet. But we do know that Jesus said, do not be afraid. I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. So let's put our trust and faith in the Lord who does know the end of the story, who knows the time and the place and the moment Trust in him and let us live by faith, not by fear. Go! Cool. 
blessed or your poor for the kingdom shall